All right, let's take a quick look at Chem Elements. Now, Chem Elements is the pro online program we use here at the Department of Chemistry at UC Davis for students to be able to go and take your pre-lab quizzes. You can review some of your experimental information and watch videos. And also, you'll be able to fill out your post-lab exercises. And we'll start here by clicking on the corresponding course that you're taking. So if you're taking Chemistry 2A, click on Chemistry 2A. Looking around, you'll see down here it says students and TAs, log in here. So that's where you'll click as a student. Now with Microsoft Edge, I have to allow Adobe on each page. So if you see a little puzzle piece down there, you'll have to allow it. But otherwise, you'll need the latest Adobe Flash Player to be, um, to be able to run these videos and media on this website. Let's take a review at these different items up here in the menu. And the first one's laboratory safety. And you'll see they just have some quick information for you about the course. Now it says, uh, chemistry 2C up here and they give you a little message that says here even though it says 2C it applies to all the 2C, 2C, 2 series so if you're in chemistry 2A this video is also for you and you can click next there and you'll see it, it scrolls through the different things the different presentations now moving on to general experimental procedures again there's going to be a bunch of these slides that you'll need to go through for each one and they give you different videos about the tools and also about the various uh, videos, it shows you videos about the various reagents as well. Okay, so you have to get through those before your lab as well. Now, we have this pre-lab quiz. This will be due, this will be due one hour before your actual lab starts. And when you first start off here, these will all be um, dead links, you won't be able to click them. You'll only be able to click safety pre-lab quiz. And, once, and since I've taken it, it's not going to show show the quiz or anything, but you'll need to take that safety quiz to be able to do the other ones. But I'll go into a different quiz that I haven't done so you can see the style of the quiz. Now check it out. They just ask you questions and then you have to fill out the different bubble that corresponds with your answer and hit submit quiz. Not too bad. Next we have post lab exercises. And these will be due one hour before the next lab. So say there's a holiday in between labs. Yes, you do get an extra week if that happens to be you. Now here we have different, um, the list of our different post-lab exercises. And they're different, their questions vary in style. So let's just take a quick look, reactions of copper post-lab. They usually give you a, a few pieces of information and a, um, a few different little maybe a warning or something or some instructions on how to complete the post lab and you'll just hit submit answer continue through those first and then they get into the actual questions so sometimes it'll be multiple choice sometimes it's going to be like some fill in the blank question style questions one of those I know in spec one there's some concentration questions so in some of them you'll see questions like this where they're asking you to report a number report the precise volume and they're saying it should be reported to the hundredth of a, mil of a milliliter. So make sure you follow those kind of directions. You say I picked five mils, hit submit. You see at this window, it tells you it's correct for this experiment. You may get a message that says it's not acceptable for this, for this experiment, which means you, you might've done something wrong or maybe you had your answer in liters instead of mils. Anyway, you get one chance to go back you do get a chance to go back and answer it. Say I changed it to, oh, six. There, and now you're back at that warning screen again. You can change it, or if you proceed, now you can't change. Now you can't go back and change it. So if this happens and say, now I realize, oh, that should have been a seven. Well, what I can do is email my TA and I would ask him, can you please reset my quiz um, starting with number 10? And, that will, and what that will do is reset your quiz um, starting with 10 and everything after it. But you keep every answer up to that, like one through nine. So that's something you'll, you, you sometimes might need to have to do throughout the quarter. Okay, and, and just remember that post labs make up most of your lab grade. So make sure you do a good job on them and that, that you can indeed navigate this, um, uh, these online, this online lab program, um, you know, in an efficient manner. Uh, don't procrastinate the lab until last minute. Um, because if you do have a, especially the first week, 
because if you do have a have an issue with chem elements it might take a day or two to figure it out so please um, get on top of chem elements um, as soon as you can I know that's not always possible but for most people you should be able to get on there and log in and check things out well before your lab starts and that way you could send an email to your TA for any questions that you have